what sets our practice apart is our caring attitude towards our patients. Uh, we've been here for over 40 years. Uh, we've seen patients that we still see now that we saw back in the beginning. Uh, we're here for the long term. We're not here for the short term. We're here for families and their kids and their grandkids. When we're making treatment decisions, uh, I'm trying to figure out what would I do if this was a family member sitting in the chair? What options would we look at and what kind of care would we give? We know that nobody loves coming to the dental office, but we try and make it as pleasant as possible. We have everything from when they walk in to, from our uh, juice bar and our coffee bar, when we get back into our operatories, you know, we provide uh, televisions and headsets, distractions for them, whatever they might need. We have different sedation techniques. Patients can do their dentistry while they're asleep if they want to. We have an anesthesiologist that works with us. Our front office staff makes the patients feel comfortable from the minute they walk in the door. Um, and the ladies that work in the back with us um, also do a, a wonderful job of, of making the patient feel like um, they enjoy being here. All three of the doctors at Aspenwood Dental uh, spend a lot of time going to continuing education. Uh, we want to know what the newest is out there and incorporate uh, you know, the best processes to make dentistry as comfortable for our patients as possible. We've got the new digital x-rays. Uh, we've got digital crown making here. We have CAD CAM. Uh, we try and stay on the front edge, but we're not going to get so far out front that we will use, use techniques that are unproven. We're all general dentists here in the office, but we also focus on uh, dental implants. All three doctors in the office have had uh, training in dental implants, university-based training. Uh, so in addition to being able to do the general dentistry that people come to us for, we can also help meet their needs for dental implants, dentures, things like that. It's really important to look at the big picture and look at what the patient's needs are, look at what their time frame is, and factor that into having a treatment plan before we start. It would be like going on a trip without a road map. You want to know where you're going. We've been here for a long time. I started this practice in 1973 in Aurora. We plan to be here for a long time in the future. Uh, with Dr. Zeppelin and Dr. Augustine, uh, we're going to carry on this tradition for the next several generations. So we're here for the long term and we know our responsibility to our patients.